Peace and blessings, everyone. I hope y'all doing good on this lovely Friday night. I don't even know what day it is. I lost track of time. But um, got a few things I want to talk about. <sighs> Where to start? Okay. So it's a new year, 2020. I like to see 2020 as a year of clear vision, you know, a year of clarity, like 2020 vision. You know what I'm saying? Like no wool can be pulled over your eyes in this time unless you allow it. But everything's going to be so clear. Everything is clear. Everything is being made clear. Or it is already clear. And you just got to damn open your eyes and get the get get the, the, the eye boogers and shit out to see that the truth is revealing itself. And, um, hmm. The original title of this video was going to be Her Voice. And it might still be. But the point I'm trying to make is this. Got a particular family member... That can't seem to wrap their mind around the fact that I'm a full-grown adult. Some people are stuck with the old version of who you were. Like when, who you were when you were younger. And a lot of older people... They like to, they, they like to think of themselves having some type of authority over a, 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 a younger generation and everything. Like no matter how old you get... I'm going to still do this, do that. And you know what I see that shit as? A form of fucking slavery. Okay? Um, you just, you got to realize that mental slavery still does exist in 2020. And there's a lot of people that subconsciously don't even realize that they carry in some of the characteristics, some of the traits, and they're using some of the same tactics and words of their ancestors oppressors you understand what i'm saying the same mindsets i don't think a lot of people really go checking they 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 don't do an inventory and um check in on their core beliefs their mindsets their point of views i think people a lot of people just walk through life whatever was instilled in them when they were younger that's what is truth to them you know, and then there's some of us like myself who evolves. Uh, I like to think of that verse in the Bible. I don't know what chapter because I'm not that well versed with the Bible. But it was talking about when I was a child, I acted as a child and I did all these things like a child. But when I became an adult, I put a I put my childish ways behind me. That's exactly what happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Um. I do got to say this. I thank my mother because she allowed me to have a voice at such a young age. And she didn't, she wasn't the type that would beat me for everything like some parents do their children. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times she would sit and talk to me and explore as to why I feel the way I do. Or she'll just hear me out. You know what I'm saying? But as I got older as a teenager and everything, me being a, you know, I know teenagers, they, they, you know, they go through that rebellion stage. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. And they're trying to find themselves because that's all rebellion is all about is just trying to find yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the older I got, the more outspoken that I became. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> And here I am at 41, self-sufficient. Um, so I'm a single mom, work, go to school, take care of my children. I've accomplished so much. I done fell flat on my face so many times. I done pulled myself up by the bootstraps. And I pulled myself out of the mud. Now, I ain't going to sit here and act like... Veronica ain't had no help along the way because I've had good people, rams in the bush, to come and help me in times of needs. But, you know, for the most part, I had to do a lot of shit on my own. And that's fine. It's okay. That's what adults do. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm giving myself accolades for doing the things that I'm supposed to do. However, 
Do you think at 41, I'm going to allow somebody to tell me how I'm going to speak, what to say, what not to say, what I'm going to post, what I ain't going to post? Do you realize I'm a full-grown woman with a whole bunch of full-grown woman experiences? And I've been through the transition. I was a child once before. And when I was a child, I act like a child. I was a rebellious child, but I act like a child. You know what I'm saying? I won't go around cussing grown-ups out and really telling them what I really felt. But, hell, I'm grown now. And so I say all that to say that, you know, thank God for social media. Some of y'all motherfuckers hate that shit. I love it. You know why I love it? Because it give people a platform to speak their mind. And a lot of people were content with just assuming what a person thought. Or just not hearing people at all. You know what I'm saying? They don't, people don't really care for the opinions of other people. People don't care for new perspectives. You know what I'm saying? So, when you give a nigga like me, I ain't going to call myself that. When you give a queen like myself a platform you think i'm not gonna use that do you realize that i'm a whole libra and i'm an air sign communication is very big for me you know what i'm saying um but because i'm outspoken you know i got some people who love me love me who you know tell me veronica keep doing what you're doing you know, thank you. We needed to hear that. You know, the world needs your energy. That type of thing. And then you got some haters that sit here and perpetrate and smile in your face and pretend that they like you or they tolerate you because they known you for so long or they related to you. But really, low key, they secretly hate you. Or they ain't gonna, not gonna say hate. That's such a strong word. They they dislike you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's too opinionated. Why she got to put that on the book? Because I can. <laughs> Who going to check me, boo? You know what I'm saying? Instead of being offended, be inspired. Do you realize that our ancestors survived 400 years of fucking chattel slavery? Do you realize they were stripped of everything from the African dialect to the, the uh, system of worship, the names, the culture. They were stripped of everything and were given a Bible. Well, I ain't going to even say a Bible, but they was given Jesus, okay? And some fields to work. They couldn't even choose who they wanted to marry. You understand? I don't think people really get this. Um, When the oppressors married two people, like they were the ones, the oppress oppressors chose who two individuals, who they were going to marry. And um, it was solely for the purpose of breeding and no other reason. A lot of those mindsets have been passed down through the generations. And it's so crazy because a lot of the elders expect us to fall in place the way that the oppressors made our ancestors fall into place. I recognize a certain type of mindset, a certain type of entity, a certain energy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to fight that shit tooth and nail with this mouth, with this brain, this education. This awareness. And I'm going to share it. And you can't stop me. You understand what I'm saying? So I know that me being outspoken the way I am may rub a lot of people the wrong way. But it's bigger than me. You understand? I have a purpose here. I allow my ancestors to use my mouth, my voice, to say things that should be addressed or should have been addressed um so if my outspokenness offends you stay the fuck away from me it's just that simple and i'm okay with it 
You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to stop being who I am. Because whether you like it or not, whether you like me or not, my purpose is bigger than you. My purpose is bigger than your, your acceptance of who the fuck I am. You know? I'm going to always be myself. But um, like I said, it's, it's, it's a bigger purpose behind it. It's being a voice for the voiceless. And I advocate for women. Oh my God. I'm so ready to overthrow the fucking patriarchal system. I don't know what the hell to do. Because this shit is misguided. <sighs> I ain't even about to go there. That's not even what this is about. But for those who love me, I thank you for your love and support. You fake motherfuckers, whether you family, friend, or foe, stay the fuck away from me. Like, if you don't like me, if I rub you the wrong way, if my words come off offensive to you, remove yourself. Free yourself in 2020, baby, because I am. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.